it is tonight. A live look right now at the Artemis One rocket. It is still standing on the launch pad over in Cape Canaveral. NASA scrubbed that morning's launch earlier today after the team found an issue with an engine bleed in one of the rocket's four main engines. And you don't want to light the candle until it's ready to go. Um, I have some personal experience uh, in the crew that I participated in uh, on the 24th flight of the space shuttle. We scrubbed four times mm. on the pad. Okay. Uh, and the fifth try was a flawless mission. And that was NASA Administrator and former Florida Senator Bill Nelson, of course, who actually went to space on the Columbia Space Shuttle back in 1986. And now the whole NASA team tonight is trying to figure out what exactly needs to be fixed. Capitol reporter Forrest Sonder is in Titusville, where today's scrub left thousands of visitors frustrated. Instead of this Monday, we got this. The scrub of the attempt of launch of Artemis 1. The SLS rocket, the world's most powerful, was unable to start its journey, sending the unmanned Orion capsule around the moon and back due to engine troubles. I'm not pissed. I'm, a di I'm disappointed. Terran Sovereign flew in from San Diego to see the moon shot, which turned into a no shot. We, we came in with expectations of just having a good time and hopefully seeing history, but... But now NASA engineers have to figure out what went wrong. An engine on the rocket couldn't be brought to the right temperature for launch, forcing the scrub despite a two-hour window. Scrubs are just a part of this program. Officials said during an afternoon press conference they'd reconvene on Tuesday to fix the issue after some rest. They plan to update the nation on whether the rocket would be ready for its next launch opportunity at the end of the week. Friday is definitely in play. Um, we just need a little bit of time to look at the data, but the team is setting up for, for a 90, 96 hour recycle. The SLS and Orion are both brand new and delays have been an ongoing problem throughout development. Yeah, it's taken 11 years to not only get this funded, but also to develop the rocket. The very informed and appropriately dressed Ethan Brigham was a bit miffed by the delay, but making history often takes time. This is pretty much a brand new thing. So go figure, it's going to take a few tries to get it right. So yes, Monday's launch didn't go as planned, but not to worry, there are two more chances in the very near future. The first is slated for September 2nd, that's at 12.48 p.m. And spectators will get one more chance, if that doesn't work out, on September 5th. That's the latest out here in Titusville. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting. Forrest, thank you. All right, let's go in depth here, taking a closer look at the rocket system itself. This is a graphic from NASA. It shows all the pieces of the rocket system. This thing is 330 or 322 feet tall. 212 feet of the rocket right here holds the fuel part. Uh, the issue today came from one of the four engines, and that's at the bottom here of this image. NASA says that these engines are really the most efficient engines they've ever built and will give two million pounds of thrust for the eventual launch when it does happen. And the engine issue is really just part of why this launch was scrubbed this morning. NASA says that this morning's weather, it also played a role in the scrub. The mission manager tells us there was rain and lightning nearby. And by the way, the team, they really look at a lot of different weather factors before getting the clear for takeoff. Uh, the temperature has to be between 41 degrees and 94.5 degrees. If the winds are above 39 knots, if it's raining, if there's lightning within 10 miles, or if the flight path is within three nautical miles of a thunderstorm, then it's a no-go.